Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is part one of a series of tutorials I'm going to be making on how to rig a leg, and um, it's going to be fairly advanced, so I suggest going uh, part by part. It's going to be quite a few parts, so, you know, something to look forward to. So, yeah, and it's going to be really good, and really long, and really extensive, and kind of advanced, so I'll explain everything you guys have to do, and why, why you have to do them, and all that stuff. So if so, before I get started, please comment and rate this video. Subscribe to my page if you like my stuff, and add me as a friend if you need a friend. Okay, so I went ahead and um, saved this as leg rig, and as you can see here, I suggest you save it before you start to, and keep saving it over a period of time. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna show you how to model a leg, including a small torso or just a hip part. Uh, how to uh, where to place the basic uh, rig, how to attach the mesh to the rig, how to add constraints, and then finalizing the rig. So this part we're going to model the leg, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's tap to go into edit mode, and let's add a, a loop cut right down the middle, so let's press Control R until you get this um, purple line here, and middle mouse click. Okay, now press A to deselect that, and press B to box select, and just drag along and get all of these vertices here on the side, and delete the vertices. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and add a mirror modifier, and make sure do clipping isn't on. Select all of them and move them over just a bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the clipping back on, and let's press S, Y, and scale them a little bit. S, Z, and scale them along the Z axis a little bit. That's good. So now, let's go ahead and connect these. So let's move these a little bit closer. About there. Okay. Let's go ahead and connect them. So let's select these four vertices. Press E to extrude and extrude them until they touch each other. And press OK. So that's pretty good. So now, let's go ahead and shape this a little better. Bring this closer. Box select those and bring them along the x-axis. Select the bottom vertices. And um, actually, that's pretty good. So select all and press S, Y, and just bring that a little more around there. Just you know where you can get a good feel, where it, where it looks good. Okay. So go into face select mode and select this bottom face here. Go into front view and let's extrude down. So extrude once, hold control, extrude again, hold control so that it'll snap to grid and extrude one more time to right about there. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, extrude the foot. So press E to extrude and extrude it around here and E to extrude again, extrude it around there and we can resize that later. So let's go ahead and press this select that part here bring it up a little bit go to side view bring it up to about here and let's extrude down and that way we get sort of a a heel foot thing going on okay so let's go ahead and thicken this a little bit seem a little skinny Go ahead and press. Actually, you know we can change that later. So just so we can see how it is, let's go ahead and add a subsurf modifier. And you want to make sure that the subsurf modifier is after mirror because if it's first, then it will prioritize the subsurf before the mirror, and you don't want that. So you want mirror to be first. So let's go ahead and turn this to two levels. Set smooth. See how that looks. Okay, we're getting kind of a cartoony effect. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and box select this right here. Press S Y. Uh, actually, let's just position the individual parts. So, go in the vertex select mode. Box select this. Drag it along the Y axis. Again, same thing here. Box select all these. Drag it along the Y. Let's press N, and you see this little panel here. And this is how much the subsurf modifier um, affects the the mesh. So let's put this let's experiment a little. 
Actually, let's keep this at about 0.1. And we want the bottom to be pretty sharp. So let's go ahead and put, select these two bottom ones and put this at like 0.5 or 6. Um, 0.5. It's pretty good. And that's actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and position these vertices a little better. Side view, just to be sure. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and thicken it now that I see it. Okay, so go ahead and put it right here. And press S, Y, see how that works. Actually, yeah, that can work. Okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add another subsurf modifier. Subsurf. But instead of uh, Catmull Clark, let's change that to simple subdivision. So now uh, let's turn the. Let's turn these levels down to one. Let's turn this level up to two. So smooth. So let's see how they both look. Both levels. Set smooth one more time. Let's go ahead and select all. The smooth once. Actually, no, that's fine. Um. Yeah. So let's actually just keep this to one. See how that works. And uh, yeah. So now we've modeled a, a pretty simple torso and leg and it looks pretty good so let's go ahead and save file save okay so next part we start setting up the rig so um, be sure to watch part two when it comes out and I'm gonna be putting up parts every two days I, but I don't if you guys haven't noticed I do not make videos or post videos on Saturdays so yeah so just so you guys know so yeah so be sure to watch part two so thanks for watching bye